What's up programmers, welcome to your third Java tutorial here. And are you guys ready to download one more thing? I'm just kidding, we don't have to download anymore. Uh, we're actually done with downloading part, so how about we get to programming part? Alright, so let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'll be going over how to print stuff onto our screen. And also, we're gonna go over a few stuff about what the variable is and how we can store them in Java language. So yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing here we have to do is we have to create our file, or I mean a class file. So go ahead and go to your file tab and then click new and uh, click Java. And once you do that, you'll be brought into the screen here. And notice I have line numbers on the side, but some of you might not have line numbers yet. So like if I hit enter, notice there's like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, right? So if you don't see those numbers, go ahead and click this paper thing with 1, 2, 3 written on it here. So that way you also see the line numbers. Because later, uh, when you get like a, some kind of errors, it's really easy to you know keep track of them. So yeah, after you create a new class, or new Java file, <clears throat> let's write this. So public class and any kind of name. So uh, so uh, this time I'm gonna name it like tutorial 3 or something like that. You guys can name it anything but just make sure the first letter has to be a capital. Okay? So and without any space. If you want space, don't put any space, just put like capital letter again. And uh, yeah. So anyway, so once you write that, type in two curly braces. And between that, hit tab here, or a few spaces, and type in public static void uh, main with a parentheses and string with capital S bracket bracket args and uh, finish it with writing two curly braces so yeah this right here you guys have to memorize it pretty much I mean I'm going to explain each what these are meaning what these means but not in this tutorial because that would be a little bit more advanced so I'm gonna talk about it like once we finish all these basic stuff but for now, just kind of uh, get used to writing these and just memorize them. I mean, you'll be writing them a lot of times. So um, yeah, just memorize them. That's how you make class. So enough talking about class. Uh, let's start writing stuff. So how do we print stuff onto our screen? So here, this is the keyword. System dot out dot print ln with parentheses and a semicolon and inside the parentheses you're going to put double quote with stuff inside so whatever you want to print out so whatever you want to print out right so in this case if I run this here what it's going to do is it's going to print out whatever is in between those two double quotes so let's compile it and it's gonna ask you for ask you to save so just hit save and once it compiles go ahead and hit this stick figure that looks like it's running and it just means run so hit that and once you do you will see a stuff onto your output screen here so the down part here is your output screen so whatever you write code in here it's gonna output here Okay, so now let's talk about how to create a variable and assigning value to them. So uh, there are a lot of different type of variables you can create, but I'm going to go over some of the most like uh, you of oftenly used variables. For example, like integers. Integers are specified by uh, typing int onto your screen. So in Java, when you create a variable, you have to be specific 
uh, about the types. So if you want to make integer type, then you have to type int first, and then a name. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna write it as like integer or something like that, integer. And then there, that's how you create a variable. But right now, that variable doesn't hold anything. Means it's empty, right? So what's the point of making empty stuff? I mean, let's store some data, Sean, right? So after you write that, hit space and uh, write a, a put equal sign. And on the other side of equal sign, put whatever the value you want to assign. So for example, since it's an integer, I'm going to assign something like 10. All right. Once you finish, don't forget the semicolon there. And on the bottom, let's write a, let's write a decimal number or a float number. So float numbers are uh, those have like point numbers, right? So for example, like 5.37. Those are like all decimal numbers. So what you can do is you can type in either double or a float as your type of your variable. So in this case, I'll be using double. So just type in double and then let's name it something different like D2 or something like that. It can be anything. And let's store a value like 3.67. Okay. After that semicolon. All right, so what else that are popular? Oh, string. Okay, so string, you have to type in capital S and T-R-I-N-G, string, and uh, same thing, space there, and type in a name. So string value or something like that. Oh, let's not do same name. Let's do something different, S3. Oh, that's perfect. And what you're going to do is you're going to put double quotes and put something inside of it. So, Sean. Okay. After that, don't forget the semicolon. Alright, so we got the string part done. There is a one last very, very useful variable. And it's a boolean. I don't know if you guys ever heard of boolean. As boolean is pretty much... Um, just like true and false so it's either true or it's either false right those are called boolean values so you can actually store true or false into a variable it's pretty cool isn't it so what you got to do is you got to type in b o o l e a n called boolean and then let's give it a name like b4 or something like that equals true all right, so once you finish, just type a semicolon and yeah, you're done. That's how you store stuff into variable. Okay, so now that we learned how to print stuff out on the screen and how to store values into variables, how about we combine them and then use it at the same time? Yeah, let's do that. So there's a really special thing called printf in Java. So exactly same thing as previous system.out. So just type in system.out.print. But instead of putting ln after print, you have to put f, indicating you want to print stuff in this format. So because we want to bring these datas here, we have to use a format. So F indicates format and the uh, same exact thing, parentheses with semicolon. Okay, but instead what we can do is we can actually um, like write stuff in here like my name is like a space and then let's say I wanted to use this S3 value which has Sean in it, right? What we can do is we can put percentage sign and S. So percentage S means string. Okay, so after you do that, let's keep right stuff in. Like, my name is Sean, so comma, uh, I am blank years old, but I want to use this integer here, okay? 
And um, how do I use that integer? I have to put percentage and D. D indicating like a digits. Okay. So um, yeah, that's how you print out the integers. I am percent D years old. And my GPA is. Uh, let's do that double, shall we? So double, you, in order to bring out a double, you have to type in a percentage F. So yeah. Anyway, so once you do that, go ahead and after the double quote here that are finishing the sentence, type in a comma. So what we gotta do is we gotta give that names of the variables. So notice we reserved a space for each of those different variables, right? So now I gotta give them a address of those variables. So first one is a percent %s, so I have to give it a name. So I'm going to use s3 for that spot there. And the second one is a percent %d, which means uh, I'm going to use that integer value for that space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in that name, which was integer, right? Uh, which is kind of bad name actually. I should have named it like I1 or something like that. But anyway, uh, and the last space that are reserved is for that float numbers, and which in my case is D2. So after that, just type in those numbers there, or those le uh, names there, and you're done. So how about we just compile it and see if we're, you know, good. Oh, it compiled. That means we're golden, like 90%. So um, after you compile it, go ahead and run it. And if you do, there is my sentence. So it says, my name is Sean. I am 10 years old. My GPA is 3.670000. Okay, Sean, there's one question for you. I typed in 3.67 as my double. Why is it print out, printing out that extra four numbers? Okay, it's because what Java is doing is it's giving me a extra number for a formatting purpose. So what you can do is you can actually customize this formatting here. It's pretty easy. What you gotta do is go to that percent %f area and be before F and after that percentage sign, type in 0.2, which indicating after the point, I want to use two numbers that are after the points. So I'm going to use only these numbers, not those. All right. So once you type in 0.2 in front of F, hit uh, compile, and uh, once it compiles, run it. And there so now there's no more extra zeros right so yeah that's how you um, format your uh, floats so uh, one more thing so instead of using this print F area what we can do is we can actually just use them in a normal print LN uh, function so type in something like my name is and I want to use that <clears throat> S3 here, right? So what I can do is I can do plus sign with S3. <clears throat> All right. And I want to write this part down. I am blank years old. So what you got to do is you got to put another plus sign here and then double quote again and type in like I am blank years old and what can I do for that blank area I can type in that name here so let's type in the integer which is 10 right and plus let's finish the sentence so ears oh ears old and yeah we're good so my name is blank with s3 
and another string with comma I am blank with integer years old so uh, let's give it a space there so anyway after you instead of writing a printf with with all the percentage and s percent d and those stuff you can actually use them with a plus sign plus sign just means you're trying to combine the strings with other stuff so you can actually do that and most of the time you will be using this way because it's so much better than you know figuring out which one is reserved or reserved or for what and those stuff so after that just hit run oh by the way instead of hitting compile and run what you can do is you can just write uh, you can just hit run here and then it will do everything um, for you okay so there is a my previous one and there is my new one okay but notice they're like connected don't they so what we have to do here is we actually have to cut it by adding a new line how do we how do we insert the new line between these two so we have to go back to our printf and in the end right after that percentage f area you have to type in backspace uh, no, not backspace sorry uh, backslash and n this backslash n here is saying that you want a new line so please give me a new line after printing out that decimal number so just run it again and see what happens and there we go there's my new sentence on the new line so yeah that's how you write stuff onto your screen with using variables and stuff with it um, so if you guys have any other questions please leave questions on the comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.